Hello, I'm Chris Richmond, and in this video I'll be giving you an insight into yet another one of my hobbies, organ building. Now, organ building is something I fell into several years ago when I restored an old 19th century reed organ, a story in itself which I'll save for another video. In 2016 I began building my own organ, but it's nothing like this one. My self-build is actually a mechanical organ, the sort that plays itself from music punched onto paper. So what made me go and build that? Well, I guess this story starts way back when I was a little lad, when my parents took me to see the Chroma Christmas lights, and we came across this old Bedford lorry on the side of the street. Inside it was this large colourful thing with all sorts of different sounds coming out of it. Of course it was Teddy Cushing's Burson Street Organ, and that was my inspiration. Fast forward about 25 years, and I happened to see the same organ in Blakeney, and I had the opportunity to see how it works. Determined I could build something, albeit on a smaller scale, I came across a set of plans by a man called John Smith, who had designed a small organ which could be built at home using easy to find materials. It's known as the busker organ, but from the outset I already had plans to make it into something more elaborate. Now shall we go and have a look? Right, now here's the organ in all its glory. Now as you can see, the facade is clearly based on Mr Cushing's Burson's organ. The figures came from Holland and the decoration was traced from photos of the Burson's organ and applied using water slide transfers. But behind this facade is simply just a 20 note John Smith busker organ. It's hand turned and plays using these paper rolls. However, unlike most busker organs, mine actually has two ranks of melody pipes, an idea designed by a chap called Melvin Wright. Unfortunately, the slider mechanism has got a bit stiff since the weather has changed, so it needs some refinement, however it's there. Now today, I've actually been invited to take the organ to St Albans, where the St Albans Organ Museum have their annual Christmas concert for mechanical instruments. I'll be joining a collective of other amateur organ builders who have also built their own instruments. Right, so it's just gone 10 o'clock and we're on the road on this wonderful crisp winter's morning. Now, being as it's a Sunday, who knows what the traffic's going to be like, but we should be at St Albans within about two hours. On arrival, I meet museum volunteer and concert host David Dingwall, who explains a little more about the event. Hello David. Hello Chris. Thanks for inviting me back. You're very welcome. Right, so tell us a bit about this, this event. I mean, I've been a couple of years ago now, but this is, this is quite a busy little event. Yeah, every year we have our Mechanical Instrument Christmas Special, and what we do here is we invite a number of organ grinders, including yourself this year, to come and participate. So this year we have seven organ grinders, um, all of which are instruments which have been built by their owners, the self-built organs designed from John Smith's plans. In addition to our guest organs, we also have the music from our mechanical exhibits as well, and the idea is we play Christmas music prominently on those instruments. Right. So how many are we expecting so far then? Are we just going to see how many turn up? You never, you never know until on the day how many are going to turn up, because many people don't book in advance, they just come on the door. So let's hope for a good audience this yes. afternoon. Yeah. Let's hope my organ behaves itself. It's the first time it's been out in a situation like this. So. Right. At quarter to two, the doors are opened and the masses arrive. A sellout in previous years, the auditorium holds almost 200 seated. At 2.15, it's showtime, and the concert is opened by the museum's largest instrument, the 121 key to cap dance organ. Right, good afternoon everybody. Good afternoon, it's lovely to see you all here. Welcome to St Albans Organ Theatre, and welcome to our Mechanical Instrument Christmas Special. Once again, we're all here uh, for another afternoon of festive music for this wonderful period. We've got seven uh, of organ grinders for you this year. 
and we're going to hear from uh, four of them for this session, and their names are up there. Peter is already on stage, he's going to go up first, so Peter has brought along his 20-note home builds organ. So this is an example of a 20-note buster organ, which uh, was um, the original uh, prototype of organ designed by our guest John Smith this afternoon, who's seated over there. Uh, and uh, John, some years ago now, produced a set of plans for people to be able to build an organ like this, uh, if you have a workshop at home, uh, using, you know, not, not expensive parts to use at all, you could build an organ for a very modest sum. And these organs have truly taken off, they've gone truly global, and uh, not just in this country, all across the world, you'll find people have built these and are exhibiting these at events all across the world. This rather elaborately uh, constructed organ here belongs to Chris Richmond, who is the gentleman, uh, if you can see him far over here, by behind the camera. Um, Chris is actually going to demonstrate on his role-playing organ uh, an arrangement that he has composed and arranged himself. This is called the Happy Fat Man. I'm not going to ask what the inspiration was for that title, but anyhow. Happy Fat Man from Chris and then... Well, this is it, the moment of truth. did well, but it isn't a patch on the instruments made by the more advanced home organ builders, such as Terry Pankhurst or Robert Ducat Brown. Also playing at the event were musical boxes and polyphons, as well as a curious card playing reed instrument. And we've got a rendition here of the concert box, the Blue Danube, a shortened down version, and bearing in mind this is done on just 14 notes. So um, I'll be at the ready, Andrew, to uh, accept the music as it comes out the other end. Yeah. Okay, so when you're ready, off you go.
is always the odd technical mishap. These mechanical organs all have their quirks, but that's part of the fun in this hobby. At 5 o'clock, it's all over, before I start my two hour journey back to Norfolk. Now for the obligatory closing paragraph. If you enjoy following my quirky, if slightly self-indulgent adventures, please don't forget to like and subscribe. This filmmaking lark just wouldn't be worth it without the support of watchers like you. Until next time, thanks for watching, and goodbye.